Hello and welcome at the Jörn YouTube channel, at our new YouTube channel. In this channel we want to present on a regular basis some short videos about our products, about the application, where the products are made for and uh, of course a little bit about ourselves as well. Today we want to start with the introduction of the Jörn company. Jörn company, we are in the rubber metal field. This is um, products we offer. And the first question is, where does the name come from? Well, that's a very simple story. Back in the 60s or the last century, Mr. Raoul Jörn was one of the leading engineers in the European industry for rubber metal parts. And he had a vision <clears throat> to replace all the greased sliding joints in the truck suspension area by wear and maintenance-free rubber metal parts. However, at that time he was uh, employed by another company and uh, this product didn't match with their product portfolio. So he decided to establish his own company. The company was established as an engineering office, an engineering office for high loaded rubber metal parts. And the first customers he worked for were at that time the truck maker Magios. Soon, a little bit later, he won also a Daimler truck and Mann truck. Um, later, we worked for, for Volvo Renault trucks and uh, also for Scania. Um, <clears throat> in the beginning, as I've said, it was an engineering office only. So we've developed the parts and then they were produced by some other companies. Um, they bought the license from Jörn to do so. Uh, Jörn was completely out of serious production at that time. But sooner or later, the customers wanted to change that. They wanted Jörn to become the supplier of the series parts as well, because they didn't want to change the, the supplier during the product generation phase. And so they started to offer the series production as well. At that time, the company was rather small, so it didn't make any sense uh, economically to set up its, its own production facilities. And uh, Jörn at that time had uh, some friends, some former colleagues who set up their own business but they were focusing on production of rubber metal parts. So he established a network of production partners and worked with them more or less till today. <clears throat> um, that's the beginning of Jörn. The company was set up near Stuttgart, first in Fellbach, and now later they moved to Weibling and also near Stuttgart in South Germany. Um, Mr. Jörn unfortunately died far too early However, he was uh, able to organize his succession very properly. He, he got some of his main employees involved into the management team and they also had the chance to buy shares. So he set up the company in a way that the, the management of Jörn is also the owner of Jörn. And um, that's the same thing still uh, today. And I'm one of the management partners at, that, at Jörn, so I'm, I'm one of the general managers there and also I have some shares in the company. Um, what else I've said, uh, we started as an engineering office only and then s later we've established a network for production. And nowadays, it's two years ago, we bought one of those suppliers and uh, since then we can also offer the production as well in our your company. Um, the location we bought is located in the German area called Allgäu, which is a little bit, uh, a little bit south of, of uh, this area here where we are. It's about 200 kilometers away from here. What is the business area we're working at? Uh, we work for the truck industry, that's what I've said already. We've transferred these parts to other industries, such as construction industries. Main customers here are the German companies uh, Liebherr and Bauer. Um, we have also some smaller companies in this field, but uh, yeah, maybe they're not that um, famous. We've uh, introduced our parts, which were more or less the same identical parts, from the truck suspension to railway industry, to the boogies. Um, we supply uh, the main European players in that field, which is uh, Alstom, now with Bombardier, Siemens, and also Stadler and some other companies as well. 
we've transferred our products also to the agricultural machinery industry. Um, main customers here is uh, Echo with the German brand Fend and CNH. Um, and also some other companies uh, which are producing some um, equipment for, for cultivating uh, the fields, for example. Um, our latest baby is the bicycle industry. Just this year we started to supply the first use part to the bicycle industry. Um, we provide parts for cargo bikes. So that makes really sense. I mean, we, we're coming from the truck industry, which is uh, carrying cargo, of course. And now we're moving forward to the cargo bike industry, which is very fascinating, I think. For that industry, we've developed a new suspension system. Talking about developing, development is really our core. This is where we come from, and that's still in our heart. And uh, this is where we, where we want to stay. Um, development, engineering, so we also we are always focusing on solving problems for our customers. And uh, we try to understand very, very clearly what they need before they are able to put these, uh, their needs into a detailed specification. So understanding that from the beginning is a key for us in working together with customers. Um, sometimes customers would like to have solutions for problems uh, which are not very easy, where, where, where no existing solution is available in the market, so we have to invent some new things. So that's what we really like to do, and that's what we, what we really often do. That's, that leads into many, many patents we have in our company. Um, one thing, one area I've just mentioned is the bicycle industry. Introducing rubber metal parts for the suspension of cargo bikes is pretty new. Another area is condition monitoring for our parts. Well, the parts are called maintenance-free and wear-free, but however, they will not last forever. So you need to identify somehow by when you have to replace them in service. But this is not very, that's not an easy thing to do. Um, you can do that in a very conservative way by uh, testing the, the fatigue behavior of the parts in advance, compare the fatigue behavior of the parts with the load spectra which are applied when the parts are in service. But this uh, requires uh, uh, if, uh, quite a strong safety margin which you have to add. Or, and that's the way we are now going, is you measure some of the physical features, you apply an artificial intelligence or let's call it an algorithm, which calculates and evaluates the measurement data you've gathered before. And with the algorithm, you can calculate whether the parts will still be good enough for another, let's say, six months service, or whether they have to be replaced very soon. This is a very new project, and uh, we are yeah, looking for the first serious application for that product. Well, these are two main innovations we've uh, just um, invented. Question is, how are we going to do that? I mean, of course, we use all the modern tools to do development, such as calculation software and all kinds. Many, many test benches to measure the physical properties of our parts, as well as what I've mentioned before is the uh, fatigue test bench. And of course, a, a database, a wide database with the parts we've already done in, in, uh, in production. That all leads us <coughs> to be a specialized, focused and competent partner for many, many industries in the area of rubber metal parts. So, well, that's it for now. I want to say thank you very much for listening to my presentation, watching the video. And if you like that, please follow us, stay patient, and we're going to post many, many more videos in the near future about products, applications, and your ideas. Thank you very much. See you soon again.